Hi, my name is Vladimir and in this tutorial I will show you how to run Stardew Valley on a Mac. The end result is having Stardew Valley running as a single app on a Mac, without the need of a virtual machine or dual boot. To begin, we'll need to allow third-party apps to run on the Mac. This step is optional, but it makes things easier during the install, as you don't need to confirm each step. Click on the Apple logo and choose System Preferences. Then click on Security and Privacy and click on General. If your settings are locked, click on the padlock in the lower left. It might ask you to enter your user's password to unlock it. Then click on Anywhere and click on Allow from Anywhere. Always be sure that you trust the application before allowing it to run on your Mac. This goes for any third-party app. You might want to return these security settings to their defaults after you finish the installation. Next, we need to get the app wrapper that allows Stardew Valley to run on a Mac. You can find the link to the post in the description of this video below. It's made by community members and a lot of effort was put to make sure it runs good. All this is made possible thanks to them. Big thanks goes to Dando Kalrishian, as well as Jergrain, HexD, Hugh Kester and Monocle Penguin. There are also a lot of other amazing fellow players here and a lot of great tips for the Stardew Valley. Also an enormous gratitude goes to Wine Skin and Wine HQ that made it possible to run Windows apps on a Mac. To continue, press on the link to download the app wrapper. After it downloads, unzip the file. Now you should have the Stardew Valley app wrapper but we still need to install the actual game inside it. To do this, right-click on the wrapper and click on Show Package Contents. Now click on Wineskin and click on Open. Minimize the window so you can see the menu behind it. Here click on Advanced and click on Tools. Next click on Wine Tricks. We'll need to install a few prerequisites before installing the game. The user agreements doesn't allow these to be distributed, so that's why each user needs to install them for themselves. First, in the search above, type XML. Click on DLLs and click on MSXML3. Click on Run and then on Run again. This one is the most difficult one to install, as you need to download the file from the website and then put it in the MSXML3 folder. Click on Download Now and put the downloaded file into the folder. Now we need to repeat the procedure one more time. In the search bar, write XML again and press Enter, click on DLLs and choose MS XML tree again. Click on Run and then on Run again. This time the program will install into Wintrix. Press on Next on the following prompts and on the end press on Finish. It's important to install MS XML tree before installing the other prerequisites. It gets easier from here on. Next, in the search bar, type dot, click on DLLs and choose dot net for zero. Click on run and click on run again. On the next prompt, click on install and after the prerequisite finishes installing, click on finish. Next, in the search bar above, type D3D. Click on DLLs and choose D3D X9. Click on Run and click on Run again. After this prerequisite installs, we are ready to install the game. Press on Close. Now we need the actual install file for the game. You can purchase a DRM-free version of the game from GOG or from your favorite retailer. I will go ahead and purchase the game from GOG now. Both the game developer and GOG deserve the support. Once you have the game, click on Stardew Valley in your library and click on the installer to download it. Put the game installer on your desktop to make it easy to find. Next, click on Install Software and click on Choose Setup Executable. Here, click on Desktop, choose the game installer and click on Choose. Here, click on Install and wait for the procedure to finish installing. On the end of the installation, click on Next on the next prompt, Next again and click on Install. 
click on OK on any errors that might appear. Click on Finish and click on OK on all the error prompts, which are kind of a reminder that you're still running a Windows app on a Mac. The wrapper should find the executable file automatically, so just click on OK. That's it! You've just installed Stardew Valley on your Mac. Now all you have to do is click on the Stardew Valley app wrapper and click on Open. You're on your way to playing Stardew Valley on your Mac. The game is fully functional and even the save games are now cross-platform. They can be found inside the app wrapper by right-clicking on it and showing the package contents. Also, it's good to know that the whole game and all its files and prerequisites are self-contained inside the app wrapper, so it will not leave any garbage on your Mac. If you ever want to uninstall the game, all you have to do is delete the app wrapper. If you ever need to update the game, you can do that as well. Right-click on the app wrapper and choose Show Package Contents. Open Wineskin and select Install Software. Click on Choose Setup Executable and just choose the updated installer file. The update will install on top of your existing installation. It's always a good idea to make a backup of your save games beforehand. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and thank you for watching.